Upside Down Church. Today, I'm going to unbox this bad boy. Uh, 31 CDs, $31 from Horror Pain Gore Death. Um, yeah, Classy Lonnie, Dreadful Rick, over at the Dreadful Minutes, I've already, uh, unboxed theirs, I wasn't planning on doing this, I watched theirs, and then I got the idea that, in my head, that I might as well do it, um, show everybody kind of the variety, um, that Horror Pain Gore Death has, um, I'm not the biggest, I mean, those of you that know me and follow this channel know I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of this stuff that they have to offer, but I've done two grab, two of their uh, 30 for 30 grab bags in the past and found uh, quite a few things that were pretty good. Um, yeah, so with these grab bags, um, I look at it like as long as I get half dozen albums out of it that I really enjoy and I've got more than my money's worth, you know. Anyways. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I'm going to kind of riff off of what Rick did. Um, go through it. Probably kind of guesstimate what it looks like to me. And probably punch it in on the computer. Um, Metal Archives or Bandcamp and see, see what it is. See what they tell us. But, um... One of the albums I've gotten in the past, Grim Legion. Um, it's a pretty good death metal album. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, Unholy Resurrection came out in, on Horror Pangor Death in 2014. So yeah. I'll try and get this done before that's over. So, only like a 30 minute album. So crack this open. Actually, yeah, that's the second one open. Um, okay. Yeah. Load it up here. Okay. Jumping right in. Violation Wound, Broken Idol. Um, yeah, I I know Rick got a split with these guys on it, and I think Lonnie might have gotten this one. I know he also got some Violation Wound, so I, I don't even need to, to guess. Rick, if I remember right, Rick knew these guys are punk or hardcore punk, something in that realm. Not my favorite type of stuff, but this looks cool, I'll give it at least a listen, and if I don't like it, then it'll find a new home. Yeah. Oh. This is one that, that Lonnie got. Vesication. Total fecal. <laughs> Beauty and the Yeast. Uh, one of the songs here, Fifty Shades of Brown. The prolapse is out there. Crouching pink, hidden stink. Yeah, um, I'm guessing this is either just uh, it's either some death metal or some grind. Let's let's see what we can find real quick. This. Yeah, brutal death metal uh, or grind and grindcore. Um, this one came out in 2019. They are from Toronto, Canada. Yeah, probably not gonna be a big fan of that, but yeah. This looks cool. Okay, I've heard of Grave Worm. Um, yeah, this is a split. Spun in Darkness and Grave Worm. Um, pretty sure death metal. The 
Black and Death, maybe. Um, this one came out in, looks like it might be a newer one. I have a massive discography here. This is with Spun in Darkness. So it's one of their older ones, that'll help me find it. And this, is their name on this one? Vengeance from Beyond the Grave. Yeah, Grave Worm, Death Metal, maybe Black and Death Metal. And Spun in Darkness is Death Metal. So, yeah. It looks, looks pretty cool. It looks like some Mark Reddick art. But, yeah. Next up. Shadow Spawn, Ashes of Sorrow. Um, yeah, this one's hard to hard to guess what it is. Um, maybe some Death Doom. Pretty, pretty dark artwork. Dark artwork. Um, guys are, looks like they're from Denmark and it's um, some thrashy death metal, so yeah, this one came out, it's an EP that came out in 2015, so yeah, next up, Scafism, that's some pretty cool artwork. Blair's ruining it for you. But yeah, this is Unutterable Horrors. Um, I'm guessing black and death metal on this one. Let's see what the Oracle says. Scafism. Death metal. Death, just death metal. Seems uh, these guys are from Boston, Massachusetts, and this one came out in 2018. Got some cool artwork on that one. Sacrificial Slaughter, Generation of Terror. Um, this one's a digipack. This looks like death, brutal death metal. Maybe some technical death metal, something in the death metal realm. Again. Slaughter. Okay. Yeah, death metal grindcore from California. This one came out in 2017, just an EP. Like that one. Sacrificial blood, souls for sale. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I've gotten any of these before. This one is a maybe, but it looks vaguely familiar. But I don't think I have it. Um, again, I'm gonna guess. Again, I'm gonna guess. Um, somewhere in the black and death metal realm. Yeah, the, I didn't say it. This is Souls for Sale by Sacrificial Blood. Got two sacrificial bands there, back to back. Thrashy Death Metal from New Jersey, uh, 2014 release. I got this one before. That looks vaguely familiar. Um, Dead War. The Triumph of Death. Uh, 2016 release. 
I don't, I don't remember this at all, what it sounds like, um, I'm guessing there's three different bands here, um, yeah, it looks like it is Black and Death, and a thrashy Black and Death metal. Looks like they have a new full length out this year called Grandfather of War. Um, from this, I'm guessing California, Santa Cruz Mountains is all it says. United States, um, Santa Cruz Mountains. Pretty cool. Um, Colopsia. And these rappers are killing the, the artwork on them with the glare and everything here. So I apologize for that. Um, yeah, this has got to be some somewhere in the brutal or technical death metal realm. I'm guessing brutal death metal. It's uh, called Angel Plague. It's the name of the album. New Jersey, just says death metal, but that that artwork definitely is leaning towards the brutal side of things. This one came out, it's their most recent full length, it came out in 2017. Next up, Nihilistin and Barbarisis Cinca Tuli. That looks interesting. This, yeah, it's definitely got a more grindy death metal logo, but artwork for more on the, gives some black metal vibes. So let's, let's see if I can even type this name in there. Nihil. Istinen Bar Bar Nothing came up on here. What year did this come out? 2013. Let's um, try just searching one of the Black metal, okay, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States. Two thousand thirteen, as I said, yeah, pretty excited to check that one out. That one should be somewhere in my somewhere in my wheelhouse. Uh, this one looks. this one. Pink Mass. Slut Cult. Um, yes, and some kind of death grind or somewhere on the grindcore spectrum. Black and Grindcore, Crust Bunk, um, yeah, lyrical themes, BDSM, perversions, sex, punk, blasphemy, sexual freedom. A pink mass is a satanic ritual performed after death that turns the deceased's heterosexual spirit into a homosexual one, so, yeah, interesting. 
Sled Cult that came out in 2016. Um, he had an EP that came out last year called The Ballad of Satan's Co or The Ballad of Satan Cock. Their first EP was called Posthumously Posthumously Curious. So, yeah. Okay. Save your skin. Omnipotent, omnipotence of the absolute. Um, like the artwork on this. Came out in 2020. I'm guessing. Um, some kind of black metal. Gothic Doom. Okay. Yeah. This one is definitely going to be one of the first ones I listen to. That's in my wheelhouse for sure. I have two full lengths. They're from Houston, Texas. Ah. And we got some death metal. Path to Ruin. A natural. Oh, yeah. I don't think this is the one. This one came out in 2016, so this is the one Ken um, put out, or I got from Ken last year. But I think this was on it. The last one was a couple of they put out last year. An actual put out last year was a compilation that had this on it. But yeah, cool to have this in the collection. Left Behind Horror Classics and Other Tributes to the Dark Side. Uh, I think... I think Lonnie got this and it's a bunch of covers and whatnot. Um, I guess some death metal. Like I was surfing USA on here. Metal from Norway. That was actually their first release. This came out in 2011. Okay. Moving along. Okay, this is this is a good one. I've gotten this one before. This is Stonehaven. Um, concerning, concerning old strife and man maidens. This is some cool black metal, a little a little folky. Not sure where these guys are from, but I guess we can check that real quick. Stone. Yeah, they are from Kansas City here in the U.S. Uh, looks like they have one other full length and. They put out a split this year and have a demo. This one came out in 2012. Um, they have a split with Hadakabura. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, this looks like. Okay. It's gotta be Grinder Pump somewhere in there. 1070 scum, chaos noise. This came out in 2012. I think I might may have gotten this one before. Yeah, nothing's coming up on this one, so I mean it's hard to hard to doubt what that is. stickers. Um, okay, let's got a handful of little, little sleeves. Anatomia and Absconder. Um, 
with Audible Assault. Uh, Anatomy, I think, is a Death Doom band and Absconder. There's got to be somewhere, some kind of death metal. Let's see. Pretty sure both of them got this in their box as well. Yeah, Death Metal for Absconder. They have a split with Ruin last year. I think Rick mentioned that. This one came out in 2012. Anatomia is from Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, Death Doom. We have Hammer Fight. I think Hammer Fight is Thrash. I think they both also got this one. 2012 release. Heavy thrash metal hard rock hammer fight. This one's just a self titled EP. Yeah, it looks like basically all these are the same. That Eat my fuck again. Probably gotta be some kind of hardcore punk or punk. Fuck you, it's eat my fuck. It looks like it's a EP combined with a some tracks from a split seven inch and eat the turnbuckle, the Great American Bash. Yeah, it's again gotta be some kind of hardcore, hardcore punk, and then. I think I have this, but I don't know if I've even gotten to listen to it. I think I got this in a metalhead box. This is a kind of bonus throw in. Uh, it's Sep Septorian Sadistic Forest. Um, so let's check what that is. I'm guessing some kind of blackened death metal. Septor is uh, death metal from Russia. Sadistic Forest is death metal as well from Finland. So, yeah. Okay, another digipack here. And wow, that's pretty. That's pretty psychedelic. Invidious LPP split. I wonder if it's kind of a double double cover because that's looks like it's LPP and then Vidius is so let's see what we can find on this I'm guessing the LPP side looks like it could be somewhere in the black metal realm but this looks like it's Gotta be some kind of death metal. Grind. Grindy death. So. And. It. Is. Okay. They are invidious. Uh, death metal band from St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, let's see if we can find this split. This doesn't have a year it came out. Little Puppy Princess. That's the name of. That's what LPP stands for. So yeah, they don't have a metal archives page. So I'm not real sure what they. What they sound like, but we'll uh, find out. Okay, another split. Coat hanger, abortion, sacrificial slaughter, and rottenness. Yeah. Coat 
Anger Abortion looks like three of their songs that are covers. They got chopped in half by Obituary, Beyond the Cemetery by Count Corpse, and Hybrid Moments by The Misfits. Um, Sacrificial Slaughter, it's all original material. Then half of the um, Rottenness, two of theirs are covers by I Want to Be Your Dog by The Stooges and Vote With a Bullet by CLC. It's got a tank on it, so um, according to Brian Arkham, it's got to be good. We'll find out. Yeah, it's got to be death metal. No, no reason to look that up. Boneyard. Fear of the Zombie Planet. Yeah, it's got to be somewhere, some kind of horror punk or themed death metal. Boneyard. Uh, yeah, there's a few different ones. This and it might be the one from Spain. Yeah. Death metal grindcore. Themes of zombies, death, and cannibalism. This one came out in 2014. These guys are from Spain. like we are switching CDs. Um, this one is, let's show you real quick, Arthidian, or Arthidane, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, Infernal Cadence of the Desolate. This is some killer um, melodic black metal put out on Nottermacht. Yeah. That's a, that's a fucking banger of an album. Go check it out. Okay. Bastard Hammer and Violation Wound. So, again, gotta be some punk, hardcore punk. Um, and just split. Wrapping up, we got six more, it looks like. Okay, I've gotten this one before. I don't remember. It didn't stand out to me. I like something that I have, it, though. It's all hell. I think Lonnie got this one and this one too. Um, Black Thrash Punk from North Carolina. This is their 2017 album, or 2015 album, The Red Sect. Looks like they have four full weeks and a demo. Most recent one out in 2019. Okay. Descendancy. Generate the genocide. That's gotta be brutal death metal. Yeah, uh, death rash from Delaware. 2019. Um, I think I've gotten this one before. Entrenched Primitive Strike. This one, I think, was um, Black and Death Metal. a handful of bands with this name. Okay, it's Death Rash from New Jersey. Came out in 2011. So one of their or Pink or Death's early releases. Yeah, this is number 32 in their catalog. This looks kind of cool. The title though, horror. It's horror. It's, it looks like it's a Tar Rule. Darkness, you'll fill her all right. Is the name of the album. Um, 
see if I can find it on. It came out in 2012, so it's one of the early ones. I don't know if I'll find it on their band camp either. Let me just try searching what it sounds like or what it looks like. Looks like it's got demo versions of, it's got the demo attached to it. Um, I'm guessing that's some kind of, yeah, who knows, I could, I could go a lot of ways, but definitely interesting. That one piques my interest. As is this one, maybe that's. Okay, this is the same band, but now I can actually read it. It's Horror Vacui. From... I don't know if I... There's two bands named Horror Vacui on, on Metal Archives, but neither of them look like the right one. So, that's... Yeah, this one's a 2014 release. Return of the Empire. Now, let me check that one. So that'll be interesting to find out what those are. And then the last one we have Imperial Imperial Savagery. Lashing the Feral Swine. Yeah. This one, I'm guessing. Black metal. Again, just death metal. 2020 release. One looks pretty cool. They're from uh, Chicago, Illinois. So, yeah, that's everything. Um, definitely excited to, to listen to some of these. Um, really pleased that there weren't a, a ton of duplicates. Kind of bummed that one of the couple black metal albums in there was a duplicate, but a lot of this stuff looks pretty like it. I should enjoy it. Definitely has some uh, intriguing cover art. There's some definite, um, definitely some stuff that's not going to be in my wheelhouse in this stack, but yeah, I'll check it all out nonetheless. Anyways, thanks for sticking around, watching. We'll see you all next time.